Considering all the work we do on our research projects, it would be good to ensure that everything is well organized for posterity. How can we ensure that the project remains legible throughout its lifespan and beyond? A lot of funding agencies require researchers to include a data management plan. And I think drafting up such a plan, a DMP, is a good idea even if it's not a requirement. For us to climb this mountain of information, we need a guide. Like Moisir says, a DMP is a good idea no matter what. But what is a data management plan? Imagine we step away from our research for half a year for whatever reason. When we return, we want to know what on earth we were doing, where we were saving our work, and how we were saving our work. A DMP can help with that. If the plan can help us understand our own research, that means it can also help other researchers understand our work later on. But what goes into a data management plan? A good DMP will cover three areas, storage and backups, file formats, and structured documentation. If a team is collaborating on a project, then a fourth section, on roles, is helpful. We should be backing up every aspect of our project, from the data we capture to notes to ourselves to drafts and comments from others. If we're dealing with particularly large projects, then we may have to pay for storing the project and backing it up. We can back up to an external hard drive or to the cloud, but it's best to do both. The details are less important than the worldview. We want redundant backups stored in different places. We also have to strive to make our materials available in the future. Here it makes sense to use non-proprietary file formats for our work when possible. We want the work to be portable, as in we want it to be usable in all sorts of environments. Third, we want to have a paper trail, and a digital one is okay, of what we're doing. This helps us understand our own work from day to day and also helps others understand what we were up to. That can be advisors or future researchers. Our documentation lays out our backup plan and includes our thoughts on file formats. And then that documentation, of course, is saved in a portable file format and backed up. The documentation can also work like a diary or it can also describe the structure of a project, like which folder is for writing, which is for data, and so on. What we document changes over the course of the project, as does what we back up and what we save. The data management plan can show a funder or advisor, or even ourselves, that we're ready to manage the organizational challenge of our research project. But it can also grow alongside the work and serve as a persistent guide showing us the path to our next step, 